first thing you need to know is that when that truck smashed into the convenience store, nobody was seriously injured. That's the good news, okay? Now, let me break this down and tell you the story behind that video that you first saw. Let's take a look at the first uh, piece of this video. And what you're going to see, let's take a look at it right now. There you see, you see someone running into the convenience store and the truck following her in there? Okay, this is what you need to know. The person running into that convenience store was looking for help, was running away from the person behind the wheel of that truck. Take a look now. There she is. She's running and trying to get away from this guy. This guy follows her. And that is the motivation for driving. Let's take a look at the, the truck driving into the store from the outside angle. Okay? Smashing in there. It's not an accident. That person is driving into the store because the person ran into the store. Now, I want you to take a look at another angle. This is the head-on uh, 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 version. Boom. And if you look closely, it happens really quickly. You might see the owner of this store gets pinned up. I guess. And to the top left, you see the woman barely gets out of the way. But what you can almost see, I don't know if you can see it from that version, is someone gets pinned there. That's the owner, Mr. Patel, of the store. He's doing okay. There, they can sort of see just the top of him. Tragic, but he's okay tonight, okay? He's okay tonight. Now, you, you also see some video of someone making a call, a 911 call, right after this happens from another vantage point of the video. Oh, my God, he just went into the store. He went into the store. Who, just a man? Yes, ma'am, he's right here, somebody. Stay here. Oh, my God. What did he do? Is somebody here? He ran into the store and ran over somebody. All right, so you've got this 911 call happening, right? You have the woman running in trying to get away from this guy. He follows her in, smashes in, and doesn't get her. Now, um, there's also video of the guy getting out of the car. Let's take a look at that because I want you to see where he goes uh, when he gets out of the car. Okay, not there. That's not what I want to see right now. Um, that's, that's all the way at the end. That's the ending. I want to go back inside. Can we go back inside? Uh, I think it's number six. Number six. Number six, he gets out of the car. Where is he looking now? He's looking underneath to see if, in fact, he got his target. And then you see on the other side of the car is the woman who had run in, now hiding from him on the other side of the car. And she, run, there she is right there, and runs out so this guy doesn't see her. And he's looking under the car to see if he was able to run her over. Now you can take me to the last video because this guy exits the whole thing and uh, someone else calls 911 and describes what's happening. That's when I turn around and I notice the guy's out at my car and I'm like, oh my God, he's still in my car. Bam! He stole her car. She's in there calling 911. He stole the car and smashes into the bread truck on his way out. He's in critical condition tonight.